Good, delighted the players came back on Saturday, had two days of testing. They've had a, a long three week break for them, but um, they're back in it. Now we're working hard and starting. You have to just build up to it. Go away on Monday for 10 days overseas and, uh, and one fixture. So we'll start the process now. The fact you've not had too much of a break, I take it the fitness levels are still here? Yeah, it's a difficult one. When you have a, a five, six week break, you know, the players can have probably three weeks of shutting down and do their own fitness to build up to it. Only three weeks for them, it's, it's a difficult. So we have to look at each individual uh, and do the baseline testing and see where they are. And, uh, and adjust the loading accordingly. So we've done that and the, and the staff are, are more than qualified. So we're in a good place. It's a very early days. Then. How are the new boys settling in to like at the Rangers? Delighted, delighted with that. Summer joins later. Jerry contractually joins us on July the 1st. Jordan's away with England set up overseas in tournaments, so he's doing well. Delighted to get Dick, Matt Crooks and Josh on board now. They're with us and training and will travel on Monday. Uh, and Clint Hill's been, been first class. How happy are you with the business you've done so far, Mark? How much stronger is the group as a result of these players? Yeah, I think we looked last week, last week, last season, and um, what did we lack? We probably lacked a bit of experience and a bit of maturity and a bit of ruggedness. And I think in, in Jerry Barton and Clint Hill, we've got that. But we like young, hungry players with good development potential. And in Jordan Rossiter, like Crooks and Josh, we, we've got that. So the balance is good. We need three or four more. We're, we're very close to two or three, which I hope will get done in the next few days. And then maybe, maybe one more later in the window. I mean, so the way at the moment is Nico Cranchar suggestions he's due for medical soon. Anything you can tell us about? We're linked to so many players, but we never, you know, you know how we work. When the business is concluded and the signature's done and the ink is dry, then we'll, we'll announce it. But right now we're, we're pursuing a number of players and hopefully, as I say, they get the three or four that we think we need to, to add the quality. Will the three or four be in the experienced rugged camp or the, the youthful? Yeah, I think balance is key. I think balance is really important to us. We need cover in some key areas. You think last season, we went through last season really with two fullbacks, Lee Wallace and, 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 and James Tav, played nearly every minute of every game. So all credit to them, all credit to the support staff, but we were exposed. We saw in the final that there was no statement. People said, oh, Mark's making a statement. No, it wasn't. That was all we had available because of the, the rules in Scotland. The players we put out on loan couldn't figure. So we literally had no players to go on the bench. So it's, um, we have to have a bit more depth, a bit more quality, but make sure there are people that buy into to, to what we're trying to do and recognise the responsibility of playing for Rangers. So we can assume it's a fullback or two that you're after then? It's a, a fullback or two that you're after. No, we need cover. We need, we need cover in key areas. We need cover up front. I think we need more cover in midfield, which we'll do. So uh, we'll look to add quality. Because we've got it now, but the games will be more physical. The, the demands, the, uh, the intensity will be higher. We recognise that some some very very good teams in the division, so every week will be a tough test for us. So what we have to do is is have the squad that can deal with the the obvious challenges. Mark, what were your situation? Obviously, there's been talk of contract negotiations. Is that any cost that being resolved? No, it's just I read all the speculation. It's simply we we, we opened the discussion, and then uh, I had to have some family time. You know, ten days away, uh, ten days overseas, three days at home, seven days at St George's Park, and back here. So apart from being very close to divorce. That far from divorce. Apart from that, um, it was just a family time and, and the board and the owner, you've seen how busy they're being with, with club business and taking the club forward. So it's nothing more than you know, two parties being very busy, but I'm sure in the coming days we'll, we'll sit down and, and carry on. Was it good to get away because it was your first season of Rangers, the first season of the pressure of, the, of being the Rangers manager, was that really important to get that time? Yeah, I hear this. I, I do hear this. It's an enjoyable season. You know, if you can't enjoy winning a championship, winning a Challenge Cup, getting to a semi-final, oh, sorry, a final, having a semi-final against Celtic as we had. If you can't enjoy that, don't be in the business. I heard it in the city, you know, burnout after three, nonsense. Enjoy it, you know, enjoy the a very privileged position. Uh, it's a great opportunity, it's a fantastic club. So as I say, the course is pressure, but you've just got to enjoy it and, and recognise it's part and parcel. Obviously it was almost a, almost a perfect season until the, the last game. Was that a bit of a shock, what happened after the... Obviously, there's there's a police investigation going on, so I'm not going to stop for me to comment on, on anything with that, other than to say, as a team, as a squad, we were disappointed not to finish the season on a winning note. You know, we were 10 minutes away from what would be a great end, and uh, we didn't do it. Well, congratulations to Hibs and that, obviously, they won the trophy. But other than that, there's no real comment. Mark, you said you were after a goalkeeper. Is that Cammy Bell now left the club? I think Cammy's there's negotiation underway. Cammy's, you know, he, he's a, is a top quality in, uh, international player, and uh, he wants to play games, Cammy. There's no doubt about that. He wants to play games and he was superb for us last season as a more than able number two. But he wants more than that, understandably. So we're looking for three or four and a goalkeeper will be one of those.